Hello, and welcome to Mount Pleasant Christian Church. I'm Andrew, and I want to thank you for spending part of your weekend here with us. Before our service begins, let's take a look at some of the things that are really important here. My name is Stacy Bierce, and I participated in Financial Peace University. We met in a large group and um, discussed finances for a bit, watched a video, and then we brought, broke into smaller groups. Once you get there, it's a little humbling um, to be around people who are willing to speak about their finances. Um, you know, in a world where everybody has that Facebook mentality, FPU allows you to get honest about your finances. Even the coaches are not righteous about how they view and have been used money. Um, we all make mistakes and it's a place for us to talk about those mistakes and then talk about the views that the, the, the world has about money versus the biblical views about money. And at the end, you just have a, a really good sense of what you should be doing with your money. And it's really, truly the point that you are a steward of what God's given to you. Tonight, we're at the Student Ministry Center here at Mount Pleasant uh, with our fifth through eighth grade fall kickoff. Uh, it's our big event we host uh, at the end of the summer to get things ready for the new semester in our student ministry with these preteens and middle schoolers. Tonight the kids come in here and we've got uh, a variety of uh, video games for them to play. We have active games uh, like our nine square in the air, ping pong, gaga ball. Uh, in the gym we have some inflatable games, an obstacle course, big arm thing like from the uh, Wipeout TV show. Ah! and then some Zorb balls, these big hamster wheels the kids are running around in. Just a night with a lot of fun. It'll end with a big slime fight outside. And this is just a chance for the kids, really there's two purposes for it. One is a chance for them to invite their friends who don't go anywhere to church, to check us out, to meet some of our leaders, to see who comes to church here, uh, so they can invite them back to church later. And just to have a lot of fun to build up some excitement is getting ready to launch in August in our new school year of ministry with them. We've got over 300 gallons of homemade slime that our leaders have made today for these kids. Uh, they're going to go outside and get covered in it, and they're going to have a ton of messy fun. Three, two, one! And then we've got a great partnership with the local fire departments that have come out and hose all the kids down when they're all done. So they go home soaking wet, but somewhat clean. And that's the grand finale that kids come and they have a blast, but they always look forward either to watching or being a part of the slime at the end. For more information about our middle school ministries, go to mpcc.info and click on connect. Our high school ministry had an amazing small group kickoff. 101 students and 18 adults competed together against the clock to escape from the SMC. They had to work together as a team to solve puzzles, riddles, unlock combinations, decode mazes, and everything else. This was a great way for our high school ministry to start our small group year. To be a part of the small groups in our high school ministry, check out mpcc.info and click on connect. Thanks for joining us for this week's Spotlight. Remember, you can find all these opportunities and more on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or at mpcc.info. Thanks again for being here this weekend. We hope that you experience real, meaningful life change as you encounter God in worship today. If you're looking for a church home or you're here as our guest, we hope you find this to be a community where it's evident that Jesus is first and everything we do is because of Him. This weekend, we begin a new series called Right on the Money. It's a fresh approach to how we can be a generous church and how God can be the Lord of our finances. Practical, helpful, and spiritual glimpses on what it means to be a cheerful giver. Also, don't forget to fill out the connection card. We would love to stay in touch with you. Let us know you're here. And if you're a guest today, bring your connection card to Guest Connections and receive more information about the church and discover ways you can get involved. We also have a special gift for you as our thanks for being our guest. Well, the band is ready to lead us. Let's celebrate now the victory we have in Jesus Christ as we worship Him as our Lord and Savior. 